Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're going through my face and body evening anti-aging skincare routine. For anyone new, welcome. I'm Dr. Alexis. I'm a board certified dermatologist who just turned 40. So I am all about the anti-aging or the well-aging right now. I'm gonna walk you through the products that I am using that are science and evidence-based to help us build collagen and elastin, promote even skin tone, and fight a lot of those biological processes that we have as we have more birthdays. It is a beautiful blessing to age. But there's nothing wrong with wanting to slow down the visible signs of aging. Aging skin is characterized by a variety of changes, such as fine lines, uneven pigmentation, roughness, laxity, sagging, or volume loss, which leads to things like smile lines. So I'm going to show you the products that I'm using to help maintain healthy, youthful skin for both the face and the body. For reference, I have dry, sensitive, eczema-prone skin that heals with hyperpigmentation after injury. I deal with the occasional hormonal pimple here or there. I haven't yet had Botox or fillers. I am not opposed to them. I just don't feel like I need them yet, and I'm going to take you guys along with me when I choose to get them. I have had microneedling and I've had laser hair removal. I'm actually due for a microneedling session next week. Let me know if you want me to bring you along. All right guys, let's go ahead and get into this anti-aging nighttime routine. My number one skin goals are really just to make sure that I am aging well. So fighting off fine lines, wrinkles, and also maintaining an even skin tone. These changes are collectively caused by both intrinsic and extrinsic properties. Intrinsic aging is what's happening on the inside. So these are biological processes, whereas extrinsic changes are things that are happening from external environmental aggressors, UV, sun, smoke, pollution, etc. These insults can lead to skin damage, ultimately resulting in a chronic inflammatory state. Hence the importance of incorporating anti-inflammatory ingredients, living an anti-inflammatory lifestyle, and using products that are scientifically proven to help combat the fact that we're losing our collagen, our elastin, our hyaluronic acid, our ceramides, and our estrogen as we age. So we're starting off with with the Murad Soothing Oat and Peptide Cleanser. This is because tonight is my retinol night and I like to use cleansers that have colloidal oatmeal whenever I'm going to be using a retinol. For those of you who may be new to the channel, I have been skin cycling for a very long time before it was a popular trend because my eczema prone skin can't handle too much retinol. So tonight is indeed my retinol night. When I use retinol on my face, I make sure to also use retinol on my body just to keep things easy. When I exfoliate my skin, I also make sure I exfoliate my body. Again, just to keep on track. We have over 40 years of clinical data helping to show the efficacy and the safety of using vitamin A topically on the skin, helping to build collagen, prevent the breakdown of collagen, helping with acne, helping with hyperpigmentation. It is just such a phenomenal ingredient. Helps with texture. So if you're dealing with fine lines and wrinkles and acne all at the same time, for sure you should be using some type of vitamin A. Niacinamide and retinol pair so well that I actually incorporate them both into my body skincare routine as well on retinol nights. So for my cleanser, I'm using this Notorium Purified Niacinamide Serum Body Wash. This has niacinamide and glycerin in a body wash that cleanses without stripping your skin. So again, you're getting all of those benefits from head to toe that niacinamide can generate. After I'm done, I use this Versed Press Restart Gentle Retinol Body Lotion. So this I use on the areas that I really want to get that collagen and firming benefit from. And then for the rest of my body, including those areas, I will go with the Triple Repairing Moisturizing Cream because again, I'm trying to replenish those ceramides. Now this is not a cleanser that's going to get super foamy. You're not going to see a bunch of foam from this cleanser or from any really hydrating cleanser for that matter. Just because it's not foaming does not mean that it's not cleansing. Oftentimes people confuse foam with a deeper clean and that's inaccurate. Colloidal oatmeal is an ingredient that is perfect for aging skin. It's soothing, it's anti-inflammatory, it has natural cleansing properties that can help to remove impurities from the skin. So let's rinse this off. 
All right, so now it's time to rehydrate the skin. I am gonna go in with the La Roche Posay. This is the Cicloplast B5 spray. I love this spray because it is so hydrating. It's got anti-inflammatory and soothing properties. Perfect for if you're gonna be using something irritating like a retinol. So on top of the fact that it has a panthenol of the B5, it also has metacasticide, which is an extract of Centella Asiatica. So anti-inflammatory, soothing properties. You see a trend here. So this is something that I love to just rehydrate my skin with. Now we're gonna add even more protection to the extra sensitive areas of the face where I definitely don't want any retinoid irritation. So this is gonna be corners of the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. I am using the La Roche-Posay Cicloplast Balm B5. This has shea butter in addition to the Centella Asiatica extract and the Panthenol. And it's just a little bit more occlusive. You do not need to use this particular balm. You can just use something like a Vaseline or even like a CeraVe healing ointment. The point is to just add a little extra protection to the areas of the skin that are the thinnest, that are the most prone to irritation. And this is where retinol tends to kind of gather at nighttime while we're sleeping. And that's why a lot of people end up stopping their retinoid too early is because they didn't take these extra measures to just protect the most sensitive parts of the skin. And then I go in with my retinoid. This is actually the start of my entire nighttime routine. This is the Altrino and it is Tretinoin 0.05 and a really hydrating, nice, base. It's got glycerin in here. They also have hyaluronic acid as well as a soluble collagen. It just really kicks everything up a notch. You see I'm using just one pea size amount and that pea size amount is going to be distributed evenly all over my face. I don't want you to feel like you have to use a prescription strength. I have now graduated to a prescription strength, but trust me, it took me years to get to this point. Um, and I still can't use retinoid on my neck. So you will see that I actually only apply my moisturizer down to my neck. I can't tolerate uh, retinoid. It tends to flare up my eczema there. And you absolutely have to wear sun protection in the morning anytime you're using retinol at nighttime. We know that retinoids or any type of topical vitamin A can be irritating to the skin. So pairing it with the right moisturizer is so important. Tonight we're gonna go in with the Avin Retinol Ceramide Lipid Replenishing Balm. There is no Retin-A in here. Uh, retinol is just the line of products. So this one has to be my favorite moisturizer to date. It's so much more than just a moisturizer. Did you hear that click? This is a nice airless pump, so I love the packaging. But that is to protect the antioxidant that is in this moisturizer, which is Bakuchiol. So Bakuchiol is its own powerhouse, to be honest. Yes, it has wonderful antioxidant properties, but it's also been proven to have its own anti-aging benefits, helping to fight fine lines and wrinkles, helping with hyperpigmentation. So we love to double dip on antioxidants and anti-aging as long as it's gonna be soothing and non-irritating to the skin. So this is such a winning combination. Uh, plus it has ceramides and it has linoleic acid. Really important to have linoleic acid in your moisturizer if you are fighting hyperpigmentation. So it helps to replenish your skin barrier, but it also has properties that help to even out your skin tone. And as the name implies, it is rich with ceramides, which is extremely important for any moisturizer. As we age, we lose our ceramides. So those with skin of color naturally have less ceramides. So you really definitely want to have ceramides in your moisturizer at the bare minimum. So a lot of people put focus on using antioxidants in the morning time, which is really important, but I think it's equally important to use antioxidants at the night time too. So it's actually really important to also note the time that we are doing this routine. We never wanna do our routine too close to our bedtime, your skincare ingredients will then end up on your pillow as opposed to in your skin. I hope that this routine helped to inspire you to create your own nighttime routine. Until next time, everyone, be well.